Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy C. Will back to you with another video. And man, we'll do something special today. We are doing Tech Tips Friday. And what that means is that we are going to do something short and special just to make your tech life better. Uh, so if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, we will be going over how to turn on G-Sync on a FreeSync monitor. Um, so, hey, just recently NVIDIA announced a special thing at CES. Uh, they announced that they are actually turning on all of their G-Sync functions um, on FreeSync monitors. So they are basically, they are adapting the FreeSync option. Um, and NVIDIA has their own option called G-Sync. Um, and in their G-Sync monitors, they cost a little bit more than the actual FreeSync monitors that um, AMD supports. And so, hey, if you got an NVIDIA graphics card, let's go ahead and get this started. The first thing that you need to do, um, I have an Acer ET322QU. It's a 32 inch Acer monitor, um, has a 1443 panel, um, it's 75 hertz panel. Um, so basically, I could be able to take advantage up to 75 frames per second. So the first thing that we need to do, um, if you have this type of monitor or any type of free scene monitor, you could be able to test this out today. Um, you will need to go to um, my buttons are on the back of my monitor. So you will need to go to the settings on your monitor and you should see some options on my monitor. And if I go down to performance, um, you will see um, the option to turn on FreeSync. Uh, so you can either turn it on or off. I have it on right now. So the first thing that you need to do is just make sure that your monitor, the free sync option on your monitor is turned on. OK, so we turned the option on on the monitor. Uh, the second thing that you need to do is actually uh, make sure that you go to your GeForce experience. All right. So once you pull up GeForce experience, um, you should see up at the top left hand corner. Just make sure that your drivers are up to date. Um, right now it shows the driver 417.71 release date 115 um, and we should be good to go I think that's the latest driver and it is right click on the desktop go to NVIDIA control panel and once you go to the NVIDIA control panel um, the first thing that you need to do um, is make sure that you're at the resolution that you want to be at along with your refresh rate some monitors um, it just depends on the monitor that you have. I know mine's my native um, is 2560 by 1440 and I can have the 75 hertz option. Um, but for this video, we are choosing the 60 hertz option at 1080p. So once you make a changes, just hit apply. And also you will go down to where it says set up G-Sync. So as long as you have the latest drivers, you'll have this option. And when you click on that, it's going to give you the option to enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Um, I have mine enabled for window and full screen mode. Um, it's going to show your display. And then you're going to make sure that you select enable settings for selected display model. Once you have that done, you should be able to click on apply. Then what we'll do from here, uh, we'll go ahead and test out the actual gameplay with Battlefield 1. All right, guys, so we are testing out Battlefield 1. Um, so we are in the settings. Um, as you can see, um, you can see the on screen display. I have afterburner running in the background. Um, we're going to go ahead and click on more options. Video again, the screen resolution is 1920 by 1080 uh, 60 uh, Hertz. Make sure that you have vertical sync turned on. You go to advanced. I have DX 12 uh, turned off personal preference. I have everything on ultra settings. So from here, uh, let's just take a look to see if we see any type of screen tearing. All right. So what we're going to be doing here is actually just doing some moving around. We're going to do a couple, of sh you know, some shooting, some stuff like that. Uh, but definitely just everything looks smooth here. Uh, just some running. And looks good. All right, guys, so definitely just want to just take a look at uh, just a couple of seconds for the gameplay. And uh, 
hey let me know what you think down in the comments hope this helped out for today tech tips friday see you in the next video